perfect. That's all right. So, all right, everybody. Sorry for the lateness. Actually, I'm only late 30 seconds, so nobody's going to know. Um, we had difficulty with uh, technical difficulty. And so welcome once again to Free Reading Thursdays. Uh, my name is Alain Jabetzis, Psychic Medium. I'll be with you for the next hour. Um, as the people start populating, I invite you again, as every week, to read um, the notes in terms of how I proceed. If you want to speak with somebody on the other side, please uh, name their name and at the same time their age at time of passing. So last week and the last couple of weeks, uh, I've been doing it in terms of really trying to get to explain how the process works with other people. Um, I've just been involved um, in other things. Hi, George. Um, at the same time, in terms of creating a report for you for helping you to cope more effectively with grief, uh, the report has been completed. The only thing missing is the page for you to actually uh, go towards uh, to actually join to get it for free. It's a free report. I hired the Empire uh, Research Group to help me with it. So that took, uh, that took about two months, I think, to, to create. Um, it's very detailed. It's specific. There's no blah, blah, blah. I don't, I'm very simple, right? So I don't like to, you know, just write stuff for writing it and giving stuff to people just because I'm just going to give it. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Susan. Oh, Susan, it's been a long time to uh, talk with you. Um, so in terms of that report, it is ready. Like I said, uh, the page is being upgraded. The new membership site is also almost up. I have to change platforms, uh, again, uh, because I'm working with, uh, Ashley Matthew, which you've seen in the first couple of videos. She's hilarious. She's so fun to work with. I'm very blessed to be able to work with her. We're working on a project called it's your life. I Y L it's brilliant. Uh, I'll be talking about it um, a little bit more. Probably we're supposed to be completed next week. We were done actually, and we're just missing one video uh, because it the, it looked so horrible. She looked like she was on another planet. She looked yellow, <laughs> so we decided we can't, you know, give uh, that kind of content or uh, production quality to people. It's an insult. Um, so it's almost completed. That'll be. Uh, announced probably in the next two weeks. I say one week, but usually with production, sometimes things come up. Uh, so probably in the next two weeks. And the report most probably uh, next week. It's just the integration of my website to the new platform. Uh, take a little bit longer. Um, and then you'll be able to have access to it. You'll just need to fill up your email. I believe just your email and your name, and you can download free and uh, also give it to other people. So there's a couple of things uh, going on in the next few months. There is another project called uh, uh, Gain the Intuitive Edge, in which I teach people, like I used to, uh, how to develop intuitive abilities uh, using a seven-step process. Only my members so far, uh, my gold members, uh, have access to it, but I'm going to be giving it in terms of, well, selling it, in terms of just that program. And then if people want coaching on top of that, they can do that. Uh, some of my clients, actually, that have taken it. Uh, hi, Pam, uh, Pamela, sorry. Um, I have their own business right now and are doing actually work, psychic work, and talking to people on the other side. Um, so it's very important, I believe, to develop more senses. I mean, we work with five, and then when we work with 12, it's a little bit more. There's more information to come up with. Um, the thing that's also important is not just the psychic abilities. It's to be able to use those abilities to increase the ability to heal much more rapidly. I've been using it in the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know, using it in the past to find anchors or, you know, main events that uh, I've worked on my journey in this physical world, as you call it. Um, and so a lot of healing, which was really good uh, for people that I've trained before that were actually uh, practicing with me to make sure that when we deliver it, uh, you know, people get quality stuff and are able to do it. The idea is to be able to reproduce it on a consistent basis and make sure that most people, maybe not everybody can do it, but you know, to increase the amount of people that are able to do it. Uh, to get a world in which you know, people start just using five senses, there's a sixth sense, which is the sense of imagination, which is the vehicle you use to get access to the information like I do when I talk to people on the other side. I just use that as a sort of a tunnel, if you want to call it that way, or for me it's a door, and which I go on the other side and then find the people to talk with 
uh, spirit or angels or I don't usually talk with angels usually, but um, case of emergency, you know, it's always good to call Angel Michael or Raphael or Gabriel or some of those. The idea again is to increase your ability to have more information, more substantial information for you to make decisions. Either as a doctor, I used it uh, to help people uh, such as doctors be able to see intuitively, just like Carolyn Miss, a medical intuitive at first, and then I brought it to businesses uh, in terms of decision making, uh, negotiating. Um, you know, if you have an employee that has problems or those type of things. It's huge what you can do with it. So that's coming up. So in a couple of minutes, we still have 706. So I'm gonna wait a little bit more as it populates. I didn't announce that much um, this week again. Uh, hi, Marianne. Hi, Janet. Um, so it's probably gonna be a small group. I'm gonna keep doing the free reading Thursdays for another couple of weeks, and then we're going to assess for next week. Uh, I mean, next year, because 2020 is coming. Also, Christmas, Christmas is coming. So I will see if I can actually um, be able to be there because I know for Christmas for some people that I've lost somebody on the other side. Uh, sorry, that I've lost somebody that want to communicate with somebody on the other side is very important during that time of uh, intense loneliness. Okay, so another couple of minutes. Uh, uh, Alana, Suzanne, if you can give me the last name, please. <laughs> you know this, by the way. Um, hi, Annie. Um, so we'll start in a couple of minutes. Again, if you have questions in terms of how I proceed or questions in terms of how the other side works, for me, like I mentioned before, I see on the other side, it's usually not in 3D, but in two dimensions. Um, it's not colorful, it's just there. Um, there's no real, how do you call it? I see more shades than I see descriptions. Uh, sometimes the description comes when I ask the person uh, on the other side. Uh, more specifically, you know, what are you wearing or this um, precise questions. I've started using another process in which I just speak with the person and they tell me everything. And in the last couple of weeks, we've been able to, for those of you that were here and not here, uh, being able to see that some other entities or people on the other side just come to me. And usually I have one person in the specific, um, but then I've noticed that some others come. It's a bit confusing for me so I, I adapt to it uh, so again if you you know if you see me uh, not struggling but if you see me starting to ask somebody and then it's not the right person and then I go to another person because they're there um, it's just a new process that's all so the idea behind all this is to learn um, I keep the recording so that you're able to learn at the same time and uh, over time I'm just going to take uh, the information and give more and more to people so I can see it starting to populate a little bit more here we're about 17 people so that's pretty good hi any uh, any again if you want um, uh, just a reminder everybody I need the first name and the last name because uh, as much as there are a lot of people on this side there's many on the other side right Dean yes <laughs> so again uh, thank you for Dean here today. I was going to do what she said. I was going to, I noticed now that I, I'm going to move the, the laptop. So I'm not, he told me that it moves. And when you watch, I never watched the, the playbacks. Uh, I let Dean or Ashley do it. I just, I don't like to look at myself. It's not that I don't look good or there's something wrong with me. It just, it feels weird for me to look at myself, look at myself and talk to people on the other side. Right? It's already that I'm talking to people on their side. Just watching me do it is, uh, it's quite important. Uh, for those people that have studied NLP, uh, I was told that uh, there's spatial anchorings when I talk, so I'll always look a certain way or focus a certain um, way in space and time. So if you want to learn in terms of that, you can also do that too. Um, and so let's see here. Marianne, hi. Uh, hey, Jessica. I'm surprised you're here. Thank you. I know you're busy tonight. Uh, you mentioned it. Uh, Ryan de Rosier, uh, Liz Down, perfect. All right. So uh, another one or two minutes and we're going to start, right? So, yes, and I added it to my thing, so I have a lot of friends now joining in. Oh, cool. How does that work? I don't, I don't even know how to So it asked me to share. It asked me, hey, everyone. I'm on the side. Hi, everyone. Here, yeah, you can come if fun. you are. Because <laughs> um, I'm not moving the laptop. Yeah, I no. learned a lot. Now you make me stress more. Because like, uh, I'm like about to do it, but I'm not, right? No, you're good. Okay. So anyway, so I'm given the option to share it as well on my live feed 
through my wall. Oh, really? And then people can join watching stuff because they're connected to me, which now are connected to wow, you. Wow, so how would they be able to do that? So there's something really fun that uh, Dean just mentioned is that you can also share on your own wall. Is that correct? Yeah, so these are all the people. Okay, wow, that's a lot of people. <laughs> that are connected to me. Man, man, watching. tell your friends about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now they're all joining my, like your live feed through my wall. So Sylvie Brûlé. Hi, Sylvie. She just said hi to me and you. Okay, yeah. perfect. Oh, that's cool. All right, that's cool. So again, um, I am, it looks like, technically challenged, but next week I'll spend a little bit more time to find that out and then get more people to share with more people because the idea is to share this. And since it's free, to have more people learn at the same time, right? Um, yeah. Perfect. Sounds Anything like else? like waving up now. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, so let's start at 7-Eleven. Get it, Sutherland? Yeah. I'm just kidding. That's a bad joke. Um, okay, so first of all, um, I want to remind people that when I do this, if I sound or I look indifferent or neutral, it's because I'm in that state. Uh, don't take it personally. Uh, the reason I'm doing this specifically is to help as many people as I can uh, to contact people on the other side. So I'd like to say my sympathies and condolences uh, to all of you that have lost somebody uh, to start with. I'll probably mention it over and over, um, and then uh, let's proceed. Yes. And who is lucky number one? I feel like The Price is Right. You ever watch Price is Right? <laughs> or yes. am I too old? Anyways, for those of you that have watched Price is Right, just wave at me or just do like or I don't know. <laughs> so you may have to actually scroll because I have to scroll. Me, okay. To see one of the first people because I have to bring yours into mine now and I don't know how to do. Oh, that. okay. So there was somebody. Just. Oh, Suzanne has one. Alana Morrison, 65. So that's clear. So let's, wait, let's start with that one. So Suzanne, I'll take you because it seems that the, you're the clearest uh, in terms of giving me the first name and last name. Just uh, let me know that you're still there, first of all. 65, passed in 2007. All right. So, okay. So again, uh, for those that have joined and have never uh, done this with me before, what I do is I take the name and the age of the person. Just a lot. See, I moved the laptop. See, I, you're right. Okay. I'm not going to do that anymore. Okay. So, sorry. That's so what I do, <laughs> am I clear? Okay. So what I do is it just enables me to um, find the person on the other side because I usually go myself. Uh, my spirit guides will bring sometimes. And what I like about Dean's place, which is very magical and beautiful, because he knows how to decorate, um, <laughs> is, yeah, because it's very feng shui here. I see the energies is a little bit more so. Dean, they, exactly. Dean promised he's going to help me with my own crib, uh, my crib, my, my house. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't say that. My own house <laughs> uh, to decorate so that it allows me to have even more uh, entities join in more fast, uh, more rapidly and faster. So yes, thank you. So my guys are saying I'm ready. Uh, let's see here. Alana, yes, Morrison here. Perfect. 65, I think. Is that correct? Okay, perfect. Just a second. So Suzanne, is she still there? Suzanne, just tell me if you're still there. Here. Okay, perfect. Okay, just a second. Okay, the person that's presenting herself to me is a uh, tall. She seems a pretty confident woman. Um, I'm sensing something with chest pain. Uh, does that confirm something to you so far? I'm getting into it now. Just give me a couple of minutes. Uh, but it seems something related to chest pain at the time of passing. Uh, it seems a bit sudden at the same time, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, yes, sudden pass. Um, at this point, uh, what it is, if you can yes. validate. Perfect. Okay, so that's her. Uh, yes. A strong woman, a strong willed, very funny it seems that she tells me, so I'm not sure if it's true or not. It seems that what uh, she's telling me is that she used to make you laugh and used to point at you. Uh, I'm not sure if she's tell not telling you out, but telling you uh, to do certain things um, yes, in terms of your character. You can be a very strong willed woman and she tried to, uh, you know, set you straight sometimes because you were like off. Uh, off the, not the map, but you're on the real big road and then you get off and then she's telling me you, she just like, vroom, just bring you right back in. Uh, and she made you cry a couple of times or you made her cry or you cried together. Uh, yes, she's saying something like that. Does, uh, is that valid? Sorry. 
She says it's all correct. Okay, she's talking too fast, man. She's so excited. Uh, she gives you a hug. Uh, she says you're very close. Uh, she's like a role model or a mentor for you, uh, but you're stubborn. She goes like this. Sorry, Dean. That's your... <laughs> she's like that. Uh, very strong-willed woman. Uh, she does mention that she made you cry, so she finds it funny. She's not saying she apologizes. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Sorry. She's like so pepped up. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, so, yes, thank you. Yeah, she's saying yes again. She said something about two weeks ago, something in terms of your heart, uh, like something, uh, I think it's emotional. I hope it's not physical. Uh, uh, it seems emotional. About two weeks ago, uh, you were dealing with something a little bit uh, hard uh, in your life. Uh, she's not mentioning. She says you know what she means. She's not going to get into it because there's other people. Yes, thank you. Um, my guides are also confirming you should be knowing what she's talking about. Is that correct? You got a feng shui in that place, Matt. This here is so easy, it's unreal. <laughs> the messages is like uh, the, like telepath telepathy is really, really easy. Yes, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, can you confirm, uh, Susan? Because she's talking still. She says she loves you a lot, actually. Uh, she mentioned something about six years ago also, if you uh, know specifically what she's talking about. She said not physical and exactly. Okay. I'm not sure what that means, but. Okay. Well, if it's for her the message, right? I don't need to know. Um, it, it's encrypted, probably, because <laughs> they talk encrypted sometimes. Uh, encrypted meaning they'll message you. Uh, me, I'm just the messenger. I'm not. Uh, I'm just relaying the message. Uh, yes, thank you. So she's saying something about six years ago, and she does uh, say she loves you a lot. Um, Oh, the physical she's saying is not the heart. It's uh, emotional or something in that sense. Like, yes, thank you. So she, yes, thank you. She's saying that she got the message. She understood what she meant. So because she's looking, she's there, and she sees that she understands. So yes, in terms of, the, yes, thank you. Yeah, just give me a minute, man. You do know I have to breathe, right? Okay. So what I said is that she's mentioning that you are uh, a lovely woman. Um, there's something else, just a second. It's just messing me up here. She cheers for you, or she's, she's, she wants the best for you, she says. You deserve a lot, and you deserve to be loved a lot. Uh, you've done a lot for other people. Some people don't understand you. You've had a little bit of a hard time. Uh, I'm not sure if it's this year or recently. Uh, just keep pushing, go, keep going at it. Uh, she says it will clear off. It seems, hmm, one, two, I'd say, I'd say before Christmas or about a month or just before the year, something's going to clear up for you. Thank you. Yes, about before six weeks or six weeks, four weeks, six weeks. Uh, my guides are confirming that. Yeah. Um, so in terms of that, uh, does that um, give you information, uh, Susan? Sorry, she keeps talking and I, I have... <laughs> I have to like stop it so that I can actually uh, get feedback or talk with you. Yes. Ask if she has any questions too. Do you have any questions? Sorry, I, my eyes are closed, so. She seems to be waiting, so. Yes, four, okay. She's about here for another couple of minutes. Right. Okay. She says it's very cozy here. <laughs> Okay, that's the first. <laughs> Sorry. That's what all my friends say when I host them. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Uh, every time I learn new stuff with this stuff, it's always different. It's so funny. Yes. Susan, are you still there? Do you have any questions? Uh, she said yes. That's all I, what I was wondering. So. Okay, so that's all. That's all? Okay, perfect. I saw, yes, thank you. She doesn't want to go, she said. She said, do you want to talk some more? That's <laughs> first. Okay. <laughs> Every week is different, man. I swear to God. I should make a movie, dude. Well, it's live. So I know. I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't even... I forget I'm here. <laughs> yes. You're in the zone. Yes. Just remember she loves you. And at Christmas time, she'll be there. She's drinking some type of alcohol. I'm not sure it's black, so or maybe coke. So I don't know. It seems like alcohol. 
Cheers, she says, to your success and your love. Yes. She has to go. Okay, they're coming. Uh, yes. Just give me one moment here. Yes, thank you. You need to write this down. There is a love inside of you that needs to be unraveled. Why am I screaming? <laughs> sorry. She, she really needs to know it. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. It seems like she's talking loud. Yes, thank you. There is a love inside of you that needs to be unraveled, is what she said. All right? I can write it down too? Okay. Yes. She said I miss her. She loves you, she said. I'm there for you. Always. Even in the backdrop. I think at your house or where you're going, it seems, she seems to follow you sometimes, walking. I'm not sure if you take walks or dogs or whatever. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Yes, she has to go? Okay, thank you. She said she seems stronger now. That's good. That's very good. Okay. She loves you. Yes. Me? Oh, you're welcome. She said, thank you for doing this. I said, you're welcome. All right, thank you. Where's that door? Oh, here it is. Okay. This one? Okay, thank you. Just give me a second. Let's just lock back it right here. Okay. Was that was that okay? She okay? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, sorry, where is she? She needs to, I need to write something for her. Susan? There is a yes love inside of you, yes. That needs to be yes unraveled. Yes. How do you spell that one? This one? Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. Just one second. Okay, yes. How come she's there? The door was closed. Okay, uh, yes. Did I write that down at the right person? Okay, perfect. Yes. Susan, she told me to tell you this and write it down. Yes, okay, thank you. Just I, I thought she was gone. Thank you, yes, you're welcome. Okay, oh, all right, wow, okay. All righty. Okay, so which one? Tanya Marie. Okay. Well, with okay. I just have to see here. I don't see her. Oh, right here. Yeah, she was there earlier. Okay. Tanya Marie. Madeline. Madeline. Madeline Tap. Seventy-nine. Sorry. 79 years of age. Okay. Uh, Tanya, if you're still Tanya Marie, 